Hey everybody, Gravy Train here with another episode of Gravy Train. So now we're actually going to start getting into the heart of matters, and we're actually going to start doing some chopping, some planting, and some seeding. So the chopping is where we're going to go ahead and start off first. So I've got my little chopper robot here. I'm going to select him. We're going to call him Chopper. And we will all get to the chopper. I'm going to go ahead and move Chopper up to forestry just so he's very clearly where he's supposed to be. And I've got axes set up here. I've got a few to start. I will be in a, the next video going over making the tools. But for right now, we'll go ahead and do the chopper. So I'm going to come out here. Got my handy dandy axe. I'm going to chop down a tree. I'm going to trigger everybody else. While I'm still in editing mode, I'm going to select structure to chop in. The he will chop down anything in this area. I'm going to tell him to loop. Now I'm going to change the condition. I'm going to loop until my hands are empty. The reason that I do that is when you chop, 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 eventually your axe breaks down. You no longer have an axe. Your hands are then empty. And at that point, I'm going to go over to the axe storage and grab an axe. Then I'm going to loop. And that's it. So it's fairly straightforward, just another little step. So it'll keep looping through here. As long as there's trees, to, as long as his hands are empty, or not empty, as long as he has an axe, he'll keep looping, 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 and then when he runs out, he'll go to axe storage and get an axe. So now we can go ahead and tell him to start. And he will start chopping everything down. And notice he didn't have an axe to begin with, so he went and got one. And that gets him going. So next, go ahead and do the digger. Digger is basically going to be exactly the same. I come up here. Um, oops, not digger D, just digger. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab. I don't want him to do it first, although it really doesn't matter. I'm going to have a spade. I'm going to, I don't know the coordinates. I'm just going to dig right here. Meanwhile, find nearest soil. Flex structure. Work area 2. So he will dig all the holes in this area. Now, bear in mind, they only dig holes on coordinate pairs that are even. So this has got a grid that is... Uh, I don't remember if it's negative or positive or what, but effectively there's two pairs. There's an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. They only dig holes on the automated one if both coordinates are even numbers. So 2 comma 2, um, 32 comma 68, 33 comma 25 is not going to have a hole, so that way there's always two apart in both directions. So we'll go ahead and hit until hands are empty, exactly the same reason as before. Now we're going to tell him to go hit fade, loop, and go. And as long as there are spades to be had, he will start digging. Yeah, I was off one. So I can actually just go fill that in, just so we don't end up with extra holes. And there you go. So that is digging the holes. He'll dig holes until that whole area is full and then he can't anymore or he needs more shovels, etc. Just for safety right now, I'm going to go ahead and put one more shovel in there. And now finally, so yeah, we've got our guy picking up acorns. Okay, so here is a little tip. I'm going to stop my acorn picker. 
And the reason that I'm going to stop my acorn picker is I want him to be more efficient. This running back and forth is no good. This, uh, we, we need him to be picking up more while he's out. So I'm going to drag up this. And I'm going to say, until your hands are full, find the nearest tree seed, move to the seed, pick up the speed. Once, I'm, once the hand is... Or I'm, then I'm going to move to tree storage. Move this out. I can move this in between because I only need to move the tree storage three once. And I'm going to add the tree storage until my hands are empty. And then I'm going to repeat. So just some little changes like that. And now he's going to gather up as many acorns as he can carry before he takes them back. He's got one. Picking another one, he'll get a third one. Now he'll take them all back, so he's not picking up one, running back, picking up one, running back, picking up one, running back. And he's almost out of juice. Yep, he's out of juice, the guy will come get him. So now... I'm going to do the same thing. For my stick mover. Stick mover is in the middle of doing stuff. Alright, and I'm gonna stop him and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm going to edit. Move the stick storage. This out. Put this in between. Do this until hands are full. Do this until hands are empty. Now another trick that you can do is put make allow this one to fail. So he'll keep trying to find a stick, but if there's only one stick, he's not gonna be just standing there erroring out. He'll actually bring it back and then until hands are empty, and then loop forever. So now he will do exactly the same thing, you still got 4k free. So plenty of room to move. And that is uh, updating those guys. Now he's carrying three back. He's only carrying one stick, because I think there is only one stick. But as we chop down more, so now we have to get trees planted. And the digger is doing his best but ran out of juice. What I'm going to do, just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to give myself update for the winder. A stop. Come over here. To see if I can give him, I can. I can give him an upgrade. So now he'll wind much more quickly. That's the same winder. I'm gonna call him Winder One. And he has the boots. As soon as the other guy, actually, I can just go to that regular winder. Get access to him here. This guy is gonna be Winder Two. Oops. Stop him. Let me give myself another pair of boots. Now, you can craft these or craft the other ones in your game. I'm just speeding this up just so that the tutorial goes quicker. And start him again. Now they move really quickly, picking people up or charging people. So when this guy runs out, which will be shortly, they should move like a out of heck. And yep, there we go. Much faster. Much, much faster. Okay. So finally, we need to get the planter. And the planter is easy. Because effectively, they are just going to go 
and pick up acorns. Now I'm going to loop this until hands are full. Next, I'm going to move to hole. Find nearest hole, move to hole, use held item. Move these out. I'm going to repeat this until hands are empty. And then continue. Now this guy should go. Getting items. He's got three for three seeds. Gonna move to three holes. Plant the seeds. And then go back and get more. Um, I do need to stop him. Edit him because I don't think I sent. Nope, I need to select structure for work area. Uh, yeah, and then that's it. Now he can go. So until his hands are full, until his hands are empty. And that, my friends, is everything for the forestry. We've got chopping, digging, planting. Next video, I'm going to show you. And you, you're probably getting the idea now, but repetition will help you. You're going to get an idea about how to build your um, tools, and then we'll get the stone. So that's rushing in good. Then we'll get the planks being made. And then that covers the end of your forestry. So thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. All that other stuff, hit the bell. Look for new content. And I hope this is helpful. Thanks a lot.